Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to show how you can create a, in a very simple way a art tech or a learning path using DevTools. Uh, DevTools is an application which is, uh, can be free, up to three decks, that allows you to create a learning path for your students. Basically, what you do is that you, go, you create this, you know, these little boards uh, that are full of activities that the kids need to be completing uh, in order to practice and to, in my case, I tend to do it as an end of unit, as an end of unit test or just basically a self-assessment for the kids or self-test. Uh, this is basically what it looks like from the point of view of the students. So when they come in here, uh, I'm going to say reset activities. Okay, yes, reset them all. So I'm going to say a student, and I'll show you later on how you share this with, with the students and how you create it. See something like that. In this case, it's an island. I really like the concept of the island in here. And they need to start in here where it says start. Okay, and that's basically tells them a little bit uh, what they need to do. The first thing is that they need, always they need to enter something to do with grammar and translation and verbs. So in this case, they need to enter this. Once they enter here, they tell them basically what they have to do. They need to find all the keys uh, in order to leave the island and they need to complete all the challenges in order to, go, to get all different keys. As you can see, you got they need to find a copper key, an aluminium key, silver, gold and diamond. And when they find it at the end, by because they don't know where the keys are, they will need to enter it in the right local. So you are here at the moment. Uh, as you can see, this has already been open. And as you can, this has become now visible, this red. It means, okay, every time the kids complete something, the padlock becomes green and they open the activity next. This is great for a escape room a scenario for the kids. So the first activity is flashcards. So they need to very quickly, okay, to unlock this one. And it would be fantastic. And the first thing they need to do is just to test themselves. And I just warn them with this topic of the school just to practice themselves. Do I know this vocab? Very nice and very, very simple. Okay, I'll show you how uh, in a minute how I do that. As you can see, they've done it and it becomes in green. It's true they could have cheated and only did one. So there's an element of trust as well in here. But I still I think is very good. When it comes here, they call the chance they, they to split. Okay, so uh, is to yeah, they need to say that to open that one, uh, to open this one, and then it's telling you that there are five aisle, uh, five keys and they need to find them. Okay, and now you got this has opened these four different routes that they can go to. They can do oral, they can do verbs, they can do listening. Let's try to see what the order looks like. So what the order looks like it would be like this. They've got another hint to open. Once they open it, they, uh, they are there. And what I've done is I've in, I've, I have um, embedded a wheel of names and uh, names activity. Nothing to do with the toys, but I'll tell you how you can do that. And this is why I really like it. So the kids now, what they need to do is that they need to spin the wheel. They will end up with something. They need to now translate uh, if. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is is they can now come here and they need they have to translate a sentence so si tuviera la oportunidad cambiaría las vacaciones that was my recording okay so that is in there and I can basically submit this voice okay and it's completed I close it and then I can actually submit another one so I can go in there they need to submit the root one. They will come another one in there. Okay. I like Spanish. And then what I like Okay, that's probably two. The kids come in there. Okay, and now what they do uh, reset a uh, voice recording. They come there, they come in here, and they now enter a second recording. Okay, and they stop it here processing the recording okay and then what they will need to do is to submit the voice there okay they are allowed as well they don't like it uh, they can yeah okay so this is basically how how it goes uh, if they come here now they come good job and actually they got a key so you click on it it says collect this key which is going to be handy as you can see for later on 
keep on going and then it says end of activity this is very important if you don't go to the end of activity it won't open the uh, the padlock and you see now that the the the, the the different um, paths are becoming now green because they've been open. This is basically the idea. You just go around and create, and you create the different activities that you want to. So I'm going to show you how you do that very, very quickly. So the first thing you do is you, I suggest that you come here. We're going to do a test. You give a name to your learning path, and it will come up with this. It will come basically ready with a template. How do you want your paths to look? You want it to be merged which will be challenging so you can have different my work was divided and you can decide that you go to the right you go easier things you go to the left you got other things forked uh, uh, the same very similar with the pronunciation it's basically the same could be the shape of a web could be a spiral it could be like a board game okay or it could be just linear just to see what it looks like i would say just to get linear the next thing you need to do is they're asking you to add a study set. What is a study set? The study set is the vocabulary in which your uh, um, activities is going to be based. You, uh, it's forcing what is uh, um, what tech choice is, is basically asking you is include some vocabulary. Okay, uh, and then you can create other type of activities. But I think this is very handy. I'll tell you why. Because you can create something from scratch or you can import your list from Quizlet. So I'm gonna, in my case, I'm gonna say, yes, I want to create my uh, mm -hmm. list from Quizlet. So what I'm gonna do here, if you go to Quizlet, I've got it open, I'm gonna practice a free time. I want that Deck Toys creates activities based on this lovely uh, vocabulary that we've been using in lesson. Once you open your, if you are familiar with Quizlet, when you open your Quizlet, you go underneath, you got the option of export. If you just go to export, this is what you need. Please press copy the test, come back to Deck Toys. And what you're gonna mm -hmm. do now is you're going to paste it. And this is all your vocab, validate and save and cha cha. What you've got here now is all the vocab is being created and that's how for example the flashcards were created in the, in the activity before that i showed you if you want i can now give a name to this one so we're gonna call it um free time one but if i want now what i can do is i can create another free time test i'm not going to based on the topic of free time you can here okay if you can see i've got a folder with free time let me see with different, my folder free time has called different Quizlets cards. So I could go and do another one and talk about a film, for example, if I want to. And that would be a second one or a third one. So I think this is very useful. Once you create what is called uh, this key concept, which is basically vocab that you want to, you can also upload images for them. I think it's nice. What it does, it generates this for you, okay, that you can change in a minute if you don't like it. So this is basically what it's going to do already. The machine or the application preview basically is telling you this is what okay uh, this is what it's going to look like i just created it again for you because we said it's linear and you see everything is linear but imagine is that you are starting here and you don't like that one okay what you can do is you click on it and you click in here and then you can change that one for example there and then you can move this here because you didn't like or that one so basically you can change this uh, this is something that this gives you, but you can change just by clicking on it. It will create this on another one. If you click again, it gets read. And this is the path that the kids will have to follow later on. At the moment, all the activities are based on that study set. So, for example, automatically, well, this is what they've done. They've, done, they've created an activity based on flashcards. Okay, on all that vocab. But this is all the activities that you can create. You may not want to do flashcards and you want to do uh, sort me for example which uh, to or rockets which is basically uh, a little bit um you need to find out what the uh, uh, the the outcome uh, the outcome is it will tell you do they have a letter you need to try to find out what it is okay or you can have the match i think the match is quite nice but you just need to match the yes one to the others and then it will uh, it will go. It's a little bit as well, very similar as well to what learning, app, learning apps as well can create. Or you can have a memory game. 
where you come basically with all the vocabulary. So basically you can come in here. I'm not going to go into the other into the other advanced settings, okay? Uh, just because I just want just to show you how it works. I'm mm. doing it very, very simple. You can investigate this. What it's doing here basically is, is at the moment it's using all the vocabulary words in that one, but I can click there and I don't want this, I don't want that, I don't want this one, I don't want this one, that. And what I can do is I can create concentrate maybe in 10 activities and then I can create another activity with another one so it's a little bit that's what it means then you also create can also create a crossword as well so you got a menudo you got but you will need to change probably uh, the um, the um, the order because as this is in Spanish and actually I would like it in English but also could be a menudo is often it's really up to you. If you are happy with that, it saves it. Once you create the activity, in this case it was a crossword, if you go to mm -hmm. what I did to open it, it's just I went to that area here. The one where is the cross. So what you if you click on here, you can first you can change the color of this little activity. So that's quite nice. You can change the icon. So you don't want that. You can have a I don't know, you can have a watch. You can have something like that, so that's for you, you know. So you can put something in there because at the moment my one lit a little bit and uh, not really good. Uh, another thing that you can do is to, you can uh, get a set of, uh, entry log. This is what I did before. You can have text, you can have numbers, you can have a QR code, you can have a key as well already. You can get in there. I would normally what I like here, what I did before is the text. So I say I went. Okay, and sorry, this is my question, hint or question would be here. So in question could be it was because I want to practice the verbs and this is the answer. Non case sensitive, please. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. So that is now that's why you got a little look there. So you has got rid of the other of the other thing. This you go learn, you go lines. Imagine I don't want this one. What uh, sorry, I will show you in a minute how, how that looks. Okay, I can read of this one. If you have other one, this one, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to delete this activity. Okay, yes, I want it, I don't want that one. And I'm gonna create something on my own. So all these activities created by them, um, the study game activities basically are based on the, that quizlet or a study set that I created basically. At the moment it's choices, if I come here, again, I can change it to one of these as I feel like it. So this one is a multiple choice, for example, and then it would go to the next one. Um, Okay, in order to go uh, the submit, etc. Okay, so that's one of the things they can do. But another thing that you can do is that you can add these other things, which is a slight activity. You come here, you do, imagine you're doing a slight activity, which I can then actually put uh, in here. So I need to put it, if I don't have a path, it won't work. So I need to have a path in here. And this is what I think is the beauty of it. This is not based on, on the uh, Quizlet anymore. What you do here is you're gonna create something. It could be your PowerPoint. So it could be that you uh, I insert in here and upload PowerPoint that you have, and then you're gonna ask the kids to do something with the PowerPoint and to interact with the PowerPoint as part of, as part of the activity. The kids will have to text, they have to write something that is in the PowerPoint, or they have to draw something, or they can uh, they can actually do something in the box and upload a photo of the work. Voice, this is where I did for the order. So it could be a PowerPoint, for example, a photograph of a photo card for GCC, and then the kids will need to speak on it. Okay. Um, it could be uh, a lock. I'll show you how to use that later. And you can, uh, this is basically multiple choice questions that you can add, or you can have some more in here. You can, uh, this is the one we've been doing. You can also put a uh, in here uh, to the voice, drag, jigsaw, this is all the other ones, and these are just for the pro account. You can put a web link they need to look at, you can put a, a, it's a label, it could be a timer. So you may put something like a PowerPoint, and they got 10 minutes to four, four minutes uh, to learn or to read it. Uh, it could be even um, a, a randomizer. This is quite good because sometimes you can use also Tech Toys Live. Uh, in, a, uh, in a situation in the classroom and then when you are the kids are doing it some, one of the students will pop up so there are a lot of different here tools that you can have to interact with your work at the moment uh, that is I would just suggest to put something really simple this is what I use as well this is where you embed your site so if you come here for example this was um, I'm gonna go to learning apps and I am sorry I apologize because I should have had this 
ready, but I'm just going to choose any of my um, activities. If it's a really okay, that's not a very good one. Let's try to do it for my webinar. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna try to do yes let's try to do this one so imagine this is the activity I want the kids to do when they come here so mm -hmm. what I'm doing is I'm gonna copy that link which is basically the embed link in learning apps I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna come there and I'm gonna paste it and now it's gonna look like this it says embed it cha cha this is what the students will see okay and I want them as well to interact with something like that. So the kids will have to basically translate that as part of uh, the activity, but I'm also gonna add a text, okay? And I want the kids to do something um, with this. So what I'm gonna do is that I want, for example, can you see that you got the chance here? This is a white thing because you can actually write in there. And I want to give them instructions. So I'm gonna say, uh, Re, uh, because it was a text one, uh, I'm going to say improve one of the sentences. Okay, so we just improve one of the sentences. I'm going to say that, and that is, and this is basically where they're going to improve it on. Okay, so what, they, I'm, uh, what I'm going to say here is that I want it to be configured the text. I want them to run a, a long test, okay? A lot answers change, yes. And I want them, by default, it's 140 characters. You may want the kids to write more, so you're gonna say no, I want up to 500, and you're gonna save it, okay? And what you have here, so that's basically, that's your activity, and this is your preview desk. So what you're gonna do here, this is what the kids will see when they enter. When they enter that one, and by the way, the kids also get points, the students will come across this, they will have to do that. But at the same time, can you see, mm -hmm. they also have improved for one of the sentences. So they will need to choose one of the sentences that translated, and I'm asking them to improve it. And what they need uh, for that, yeah, they come here and come, and they will need to write the sentence and to improve it. And when they're happy with it, they will need to submit it to me. Okay, and, you, and they, every time, there's another thing with deck toys, that every time the kids complete activities, they also get points, which I think is very really good. Then they will come to down here and they will close it and the activity will open as you can see okay so what i'm going to do so this was basically my test i'm going to close the preview i'm happy with that activity and i set about the keys so how can i add a key this is how you add a, a key you come here actually i want a key in here so my key has come here look at what i've done i just come there and I just can there and send another key there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the key in there. So when they open it, that's gonna be the key there. And I want to configure my treasure key. I can give it the name I want to, normally keep. And this is a key ID, which is very important that you will need later. So this gold key, we're gonna call it gold as well, or an ID. But the students don't see that, but this is gonna be something. The kids will find this. Congratulations for finding the key. I'll show you how that works later on. So that's it, and you come back, you're happy, you come back to your map, that's it then. Uh, this is basically how you keep going, creating your activities. Uh, it could be absolutely anything. If you come here as one of the activities, I can get rid of this one, the match, for example, delete activity. Yes, I don't want that activity. I'm gonna create one of my own. Uh, I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna create another embed, an embedded one. For example, I'm gonna create something on Wheel of Names, as you saw, or Flippity. Flippity works as well if you have the things there. So you just put your Wheel of Names. Okay, uh, I share things. So you go, I'm going, you're gonna share it. Okay, so uh, yeah. Continue and it generates that. What I'm going to do now is I come back and I'm going to put it in there. And now that is my wheel of names. And then I'm going to say to the kids, and now they will need to speak. So I'm going to say to them, uh, open um, uh, spin the wind and translate into Spanish. So I'm gonna tell them there, okay? So that's safe. And now I'm gonna add the voice element. So I want that to be there. And I want, sorry, uh, that's gonna be, and I can't move it, I can put it there. And maybe I want to have it to several ones. And I want, that's another one, sorry. 
that's it. And I can put like, I want the kids to do three, and the kids to do four, that's really up to them. Then I come here and I can, uh, I want it to be, I want this to be even bigger or smaller and basically change that, etc. Okay, uh, and also I can say how many points I want for every time they take out this. So basically there's a lot of things that you can do. Mm. I am happy with that and I continue. This is how it works. What about something I haven't talked about is about the background. How do you create the background? With the background, basically you can use some of the backgrounds here. I don't think they're very good. Okay, you come here, they don't look great. Okay, you can put trees and things like that. I really don't like it. Normally, what I do is that go to uh, Google Images and um, sample. I normally put island map, uh, island map images. Okay, so what I do is that, is that I am I open uh, one of the pictures. Uh, I'm going to copy this image. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do now and copy and V. That's it. Uploading the picture. And my picture is there now, and the only thing I need to do now is to make it nice and big. Okay, so that's going to be, at the moment you can see it's very dark, so you cannot see my deck very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity, so I'm going to make it really things like that. Okay, and what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to put a text, and I'm going to put other title, which is going to be uh, Find the Keys. Okay, and I'm going to put the find the keys, I'm going to put it up here, so they know basically with this. I'm going to say, and this is going to be now my background. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put where the kids are going to be. But where the kids are going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be like two kids. So this is the don't need a path. They just is going to be where the kids are going to be. I'm going here. And what I want now is a lock. Okay, but uh, I want a lock. Okay, that's going to image here. If I want here as well, I can put actually a nice picture of congratulations because you found the keys. So I can put that and that's going to be a lock. I'm going to configure the lock now. And now is the key. Remember before that the key, there was an ID thing, the, the, the name of the keywords. Okay, well, that's what is important now. If you want the gold key to go here, you are going to write here the ID call, uh, the ID that you wrote before. It doesn't have to be gold, but we I decided it was, it was going to be gold. And come back to the map. Okay, this is my activity. I would do the same with this one. So I'm really happy with this. Imagine this is all my activities. I can have another preview to make sure that everything is absolutely fine. I do have my activities here. I have a, a, the start, my course, the choices. This is the ones created. Remember, activities created just with the different um, the, the activities I put from Quizlet. Okay, this comes as done because I said before it was already done it. It's done and that's what allows me to, to do this. I can, the kids can come and do choices. Okay, so to ski, so it would be a skier. Can you see, uh, submit, uh, goes to next. So they will need to create this. The kids all the time uh, get things. Uh, that's another one that's been open. As things get open, I can move on. So that one, uh, basically, this is what it, I think, comes back now. Oops, sorry. Okay, it's basically come. Oh, why does it come? Oh, yes, because I need to start from here. Okay, uh, basically, you start here. Can you see? Then you come to this one. It was error. This is what the children would have to do. Uh, they need to complete this. Once they are completed, okay, they will do that one. Okay, they write something. Once they've completed, okay, that is, uh, mm -hmm. you will allow them. And remember, when you sub, and remember, at the moment, it won't allow me to carry on because everything will have to be submitted in this one for the kids to move on. So at the moment, can you see, it doesn't allow me to come here as a student in my demo. Uh, in this one, oh, it is because it's a demo, but normally you will need to create all of them. If I come here, it doesn't allow me. Okay, that's it then. So basically, I'm quite happy with all, with all this. I close the preview. Now what do I need to do is to assign this. What I need to do with that is I'm going to assign, you just want to share with your department, you just want a public, okay, uh, sorry, on with the link, 
publish to the dashboard basically means you press on here and deck toys will decide if they want to press it if they want to make your deck um basically they want to make it public if they don't think it's good enough they won't make it but it's already online but just by by you clicking the link it just means if it's not that they, you won't be able to people won't be able to find it if it's not public but you can share it with the people that you want uh, or you can share the things but uh, the, the embed code but remember this is not for students so you can share that or you want to share with your students so to share with the students you need to assign it to a class so before you created your classes so imagine I'm going to create um, okay I'm going to try create it to this one can you see uh, and now this gives you and this is a, a, a code basically specifically that you can copy it you can now share that with your uh, students as you want to so if I go here and I put that code okay can you see this is what the students will find they can log on using Microsoft Google or just as a guest student okay so imagine this is going to be and this is basically what they will find here that at the moment it still remembers what I've been doing uh, this will be so it still remembers I got 8,000 points mm -hmm. I will have to clear that from my uh, dashboard uh, I come here I do the, uh, the crossword then from the crossword I can do choices as you can see okay and um, after that I uh, can uh, also did the crossword okay I can go do the different activities in here okay and basically you can then start uh, advancing okay I have not finished this one which is why okay if I come here uh, you need to complete the other one why because I have not created the, the choices one uh, in so yes basically that's this is basically what it is I would have to create it all these choices and going through all of this to go out for a work okay uh, for that vuelta that I submit and then go to the next one draw dibujar submit okay and now if I can okay then if I completed all of them then this will become a uh, red and I will be able to practice it basically to move on so that's basically that's basically the idea you just need to play with it I think it's really good as I said uh, this is a very very simple one but I created uh, after I practice and I've done a little bit with it this is yeah this is some of the ones that I've, uh, I've done I've done a year nine the kids absolutely loved it set of activities Okay, and what I would suggest is that once you created one, that the first time it takes you some time, understandably, you can once you come here, you can basically share, make a copy, and then you can basically use the same template, change maybe the images and change some of the, uh, of the activities, but then you got everything already set up, but just with different uh, settings. Uh, different vocab. This is all your classes and if you want to see what the kids have been up to you just come here and go to view classroom report and in the view classroom report it will tell you basically how all the different students did and I don't want to go to I mean uh, yes at the moment it's only been me for that particular classroom and I don't want to show you a real one because it would have data from the students like that I don't want to share and so this is basically how it works just to give you an idea how it is just to make you aware uh, it, the blog and the help has got amazing videos that you can actually go for for get it started uh, frequently asked uh, questions and you also have the blog um, also in the different elements also tells you straight away uh, how to how to build digital escape rooms in the toys for example you can read more uh, it's just really nice thing would I use it all the time absolutely not but I think uh, it would be good and you see mm -hmm. this is the idea this is just a different background thing and they put another element I just think it is a really nice way of gamification uh, following which is on how to uh, yeah how to practice the language and in a way as well because you've already created all the activities in other platforms to put everything together 
uh, make use of recycled activities. So you spend time using learning uh, apps, Flippity or Wheel of Names. Why not to reuse those activities in, in our activity at the end of the uh, unit to, for the students to practice all the vocabulary and all the things, um, the, um, the grammar. So these are my favorite features. There are more features. You also need to be seen as well, can play with the activities. You can actually, when, as I said, when you come here, you can edit, you can, uh, when you come to the different, yes, activities, you can actually decide, okay, uh, if you want, um, for the activity you wanted to all the kids basically to submit an activity, uh, something, or you just wanted just to, uh, to do it, or they need to submit everything. Gives you a lot of different options that I think that actually quite good. And any of those things will also give you in for when you click on that one, for example. Yeah, I will just leave it. Yeah, it will just give you information and on the different aspects. So I think it's actually quite good. I'm quite I'm quite new to this, but I'm actually very uh, very impressed already. Thank you for listening.